I think it all started uh, back when I was probably in high school and my mom told me this very interesting story that I had never heard before about um, when she was pregnant with me. Um, she had gone to get some tests done and the nurse had told her that there was going to be a very high probability of uh, chromosomal abnormality uh, in me. And so my mother was, you know, she was kind of contemplating this and what it would mean. And the nurse said, you know, you, know, you have a choice about this baby. And my mom kind of looked at her and said, do you mean an abortion? And the nurse said, yeah. And my mom didn't take it. <laughs> she, uh, she knew that she wanted this baby. Um, this wasn't a choice for her. This was, um, this was a God-given thing for her. And she wasn't going to reject that gift. Um, so for her, it was a very easy decision. I know that can't be said for a lot of women. Um, it's not an easy decision to make, and, and it's sad that it even has to be uh, a decision to be made. When I heard that she had confronted this kind of a thing, um, it made me think, what is it like for women who aren't maybe as lucky or blessed to have such a, a, f a foundation in faith, who don't have um, role models, uh, other female role models to look up to and say, um, I can do this. Uh, I, I don't have to make the choice of having an abortion. So, so it kind of all began with this um, desire to um, promote uh, the truth about abortion and sort of help women realize that um, they are supported um, and that there are people who want to support them and I want to be one of those people.